Welcome back to Don's Ike. Welcome to the channel. Thanks for joining today. For the past few weeks, I've been testing DJI's Power 1000 portable power station, and today we're going to talk about it. Let's go. So before I get into all the specifications with the DJI Power 1000, I wanted to share with you how I've immediately integrated this into my lifestyle. As a content creator, it's always critical to have my gear charged and ready to go. Recently, I was camping with my family in the great outdoors and I needed a bunch of gear to be fully charged or charging as I was switching between multiple devices. In the past, I'd have to have my devices take turns charging off of the vehicle. And as we all know, that can be slow and tedious. I have another example of how versatile the power center has become. I recently wrapped my car in a new paint protection film and had to submit some photos and videos. Since the film was just laid down, there was a risk that some of the edges would still need some extra heat. I had my heat gun plugged in to perform a minor touch-up. This would not have been possible any other way in the middle of a photo shoot, especially carrying everything in a sports car. The DJI Portable 1000 is a 1024 watt hour portable power station. In simplest terms, it means that a 100 watt device can be powered for about 10 hours. It has an ultra high capacity power output with 2200 watts of continuous stable output. 2600 watts can be sustained for 30 seconds and it has a 4400 watt peak output. These figures are not usually found in a portable power station of this size. We have dual AC output rated at 2200 watts, continuous power up to 4400 watts peak output. We have two USB-A charging ports with a max output of 24 watts, two USB-C charging ports with a PD 3.1 protocol for a max output of 140 watts. With all the new devices that are fast charge capable, this is a great advantage. Like plugging in two 16 inch MacBook Pros up to 50% charge in less than half an hour. You'll notice we have a pair of SDC power connections. These are used for super fast charging options, such as the selection of super fast charge compatible DJI drones. These SDC ports are also used to connect many accessory options, which I will touch on later. These batteries are composed of lithium ferrophosphate or LFP for short. You'll enjoy 4,000 charging cycles. That means you could charge it every day for the next 10 years and you'd still have 80% capacity left. I was also happy to hear how quiet it was when recharging. I have tried a few portable power stations that are definitely on the louder side and you may not even want them in the same room when it is charging. DJI uses high quality temperature regulating fans with precisely controlled charging speeds to measure it in at a very quiet and comfortable 23 decibels. I don't know of any that are quieter than this, for this size of portable power station. The construction is on par with anything you'd get from DJI. Durable, quality feel, with quite a bit of thought put into its design. It can support my weight all the way up to 220 pounds. I won't lie, I've even sat on it a few times. Look at these handles, they're super comfortable and ergonomic. Even if I had to carry it a long distance, there wouldn't be too much fatigue. Everything is conveniently located on the front, which allows you to push it up against the wall or leave it on a shelf. Being a longtime owner of various DJI products, I like that I have several accessory options that I can pick up separately. That means you just buy what you'll use and not have to spend money towards items that you may never take advantage of. Since this is a portable power station, we have three ways to recharge it. We can use solar, we can use the 1224 volt from the car directly, or just plug it into the wall outlet. Depending on how fast you want to recharge, you have a standard recharge mode, which is the quietest one, and also a fast charge mode which can get you from zero to 80% in as little as 50 minutes. Otherwise, it would take about two hours on standard charging. Let's look at a few accessories that I have with me today. Included with the power station is your AC power cord. This is gonna be the fastest way of recharging. We have an optional DJI Power SDC power cable to charge from the vehicle's power outlet. Great for topping up while you're driving to your destination. One that also came in very handy was the DJI Power SDC car charger adapter we use to power a pump to inflate my wife's paddleboard. Just look at this protective storage case. I shouldn't be as surprised as I was, but DJI thought of everything. So we have a large opening in the top that we can place the charger inside. Fits like a glove and zip it back up. Now here's a couple of awesome features. On the side, you have these openings, not only to grab the handle, but for ventilation 
and there's one on both sides. So now we can easily carry it, but also ventilate it because we can also use it while it's in the case. So we have access to all of our ports here, but get this, they've lined up this arrow with the power button. So we don't even have to try and fumble and find where the power button is. They've located on the outside. I tell you, they really thought of everything here. And you have this nice pouch in the back here that fits all of your accessories. I have another cool demo for you, a quick demonstration of UPS motor uninterrupted power supply. You can have a device that's plugged in. Maybe it's something critical that you can never have lose power. You can have it plugged into this while the DJI Power 1000 is plugged into the wall like I have here. I can turn on the device. So you can hear the heat gun is running. Within 12 to 20 milliseconds, if I was to cut mean power, which I'm going to do, it will keep the device running. Now that's cool, but the heat gun's making it a little warm. Still not convinced? That's okay. As a DIYer, I'm always using things like power tools around the house, outside. Sometimes it's much more convenient to bring the power to where you need it, and that's exactly what we're gonna do. Let me just put this up here so you can see it because this is also a workhorse. And I always clean up my messes. So imagine just how much easier using this is than running extension cords. This concludes my review of the DJI Power 1000 Portable Power Station. At the time of filming this video, I can tell you it's competitively priced and has advantages over much of the competition. I highly recommend you check out DJI's website. I'll leave a link in the video description below. But on that note, if you like today's video, hit that like button. Please consider subscribing and we'll talk to you next time.